everyone so we are going to learn what are implicit and explicit solutions means for differential equations so it's a very easy concept but most of the students get it wrong because really you don't understand what implicit and explicit means so here really the meaning of the words implicit and explicit comes into play okay so what do you mean by explicit so think about this okay so if someone if you want to say to a person that they are stupid you can explicitly say that see you are stupid okay but if you want if you don't want to hurt them right away or for some reason you can say that the person is stupid in an implicit way i mean i can i i cannot think a way you can creatively think a way but but without using the word like stupid explicitly right without spitting it out you can you can find a creative way to say it but it really does the same thing right either way you see that the person is stupid so um so sort of like that so we can express a solution in an implicit way or an explicit way what do i mean so what is the purpose of solving a differential equation or looking for solutions right but who are we solving for we are solving for y right or the dependent variable usually y is the dependent variable right but you are solving for y you want to know at the end of the day what is y equal to when you solve the differential equation so if you can explicitly say this is it y is equal to this that's the explicit solution so let me give an give you an example so this differential equation the explicit solution is don't ask me how i got this that's a late question for later chapters but see y is square root of 25 minus x square that's explicitly explained written so that's the explicit solution but here's an implicit solution well i can take this square root to the left hand side and write y square is 25 minus x square and let's write this x square on the right left hand side like y square plus x square is equal to 25 now what did i do here i just did some algebraical simplification but still this statement and this statement are the same thing but in the second statement y is not explicitly stated which is what we are looking for so this is a in explicit solution but this is a implicit solution both of them are solutions because i didn't change anything i just rewrite rewrite the solution right rewrite the function so both of them are solutions but in one case you explicitly explain what is unknown is y is equal to this thing but in second case it's not explicitly uh, explained right it's implicitly you can you see what is unknown okay you have to do some work to find what is y equal to so that's the difference between an implicit solution and an explicit solution okay all right so then that's it thank you very much